Hello and welcome to this video of Tableau interview question with answers. So the first question generally would be elaborate on your experience while working on Tableau desktop and server. First, remember what you have written in your resume. Make sure you are on track and don't go lengthy. Be very precise and to the point what you mention to the interviewer. So talk about your best Tableau project. Highlight Tableau desktop, server and admin activities which you might have done. Highlight various data sources you have used and also it's very important to create a Tableau public profile to be able to showcase your expertise on Tableau. Next is file extensions, very important. So Tableau workbook, packaged workbook, .twbx, data source, packaged data source, data extract, bookmark, map source, and references. Next is, what is an LOD expression in Tableau? So LOD is a syntax that supports aggregation and dimensionalities other than the view level. With your level of detail expressions, you can attach one or more dimensions to any aggregate expression. To get more information on LOD, there are videos from Tableau, do it yourself, watch it, and you will understand practical usage of LOD calculations. Next is, explain the difference between quick filter and normal filter. So normal filter is used to restrict the data based on dimension or measure, while quick filter is used for data members at runtime. Quickly you want to filter something, that's where you would use quick filter. Can there be multiple value selection in a parameter and what type of join used for data blending? Answer is no, there cannot be, have, there cannot be multiple value selection in a parameter and no joins are created in data blending. It's column references. Next question, what is an alternative name that can be assigned to a field or to a dimension member? Any guesses? Called an alias. Next is, explain the differences between Tableau, Server and Desktop. Tableau Desktop is created normally used to create data visualization, stories, workbook, while Tableau Server is the mechanism, a web mechanism, which, which can help distribute the reports and workbooks, dashboards to the audience. And you, you can use the, the security control and data source publishing everything on Tableau Server. In order to get a flavor of Tableau Server, go and register for 14 days on online.tableau.com and see how the Tableau server would look like. And user can edit and update the servers and the workbooks and dashboards on server, but cannot create a new one. Please remember, this is a very important point you would mention in an interview. Explain parameters and filters in Tableau. So parameters allow users to insert their values which can be integers, float, date, or string. Filters receive only the values from the list to be able to choose, chosen as filter by. It's like a filter condition to, to dynamically change the measures and dimensions for parameter, but filters do not have this feature. Explain the, explain the concept of data blending. 
So data blending is not a join. Please do not confuse it with data join. There is a video again on Tableau do it yourself tutorials for data blending in Tableau, which allows combining of data from different data sources. For example, you can have data from a flat file and you can blend it with the data coming from Teradata or a DB2 or Oracle or anything. You can blend it together and report in one single shot, one single dashboard. Next question, what is a context filter in Tableau? The concept of context filter is that it helps make the filtering easy to create a hierarchy of the filter where all of the filter or all the subsequent operations you do it on dashboard can be filtered and it has or it has the capability to be passed through the context filter so it creates a dynamic filter like a like a context of the data what you are seeing on the workbook or spreadsheet if you if you create one or more context filters obviously it helps improve performance uh, which also is dependent on the query execution time it helps reduce query execution time and you know how to create a context filter always mention to the interviewer how would you go ahead and create context filter what is .twbx as we discussed tableau package the packaged workbook which is .twbx serves as a kind of a zip file which is to be able to allow users to share their workbooks with other Tableau desktop users and you can also open it in Tableau Reader. It's like a complete package. It's like a zip file. Please explain these questions with examples to the interviewer in order to gain more power points. So what are extract and schedules in Tableau? Data extracts are the first subdivisions of actual data from the original data sources. So TBE is Tableau extract and you take the data, extract it, put it in TBE file and this can be done while you are doing the data source and click on extract. A live connection means it's directly going to the database and getting the data extracted to Tableau data engine. Once you have extracted data, you can publish the workbook and while publishing the workbook, it also publishes the extracts on Tableau server. Now, obviously schedule is a functionality where you can schedule a task to refresh those extracts which are on the server. So there is a video in DIY, which is do it yourself tutorials on how to extract and how to schedule through a command line the extracting uh, the data extraction mechanism please do watch those videos as well explain the steps to view underlying sql queries so there are two methods how to do that sql desktop logs which is under tableau repository check log.txt and tab protosrv.txt and create a performance recording by going to help settings and performances how to automate reporting using Tableau software? To publish report to a Tableau server. While you publish, there is an option to schedule. Just select the time, like a scheduling tool, and you will be able to do the publishing with command line scripts as well. This is also shown in our do-it-yourself video series. Questions. What is forecasting and trend line in Tableau? So forecasting is about predicting the future of the measure value depending upon the historical data set and applying some mathematical calculations models for forecasting. Default model for Tableau is exponential smoothing. Trend lines are used to predict the continuation of certain trend. For example, what is a trend of Tableau? What is a trend of click? You know, how it's behaving in market and there is a correlation between these two variables or the versus time or you know some two dimensions to be able to predict the trend. It's mostly done on time dimension. 
So more to come on these questions. Here is the Tableau video series I keep talking about and it's in the comment section of this video and this is the folder where you can find find this presentation on Tableau interview questions download and use it make sure that you read a lot of material go through the playlist the the video series and all the best thank you